y'all. Peace of the angel in the darkness. My name is Venus Sublime, aka Miss V. And welcome to Concepts with Miss V, where we talk about all different types of things that help us focus on being, becoming, sustaining a lifestyle of being spiritually fit. So, y'all. Peace to you. Thank you for showing up for yourself today. Because when you show up for you, you allow others to continue to be inspired to keep showing up too. And that's a lot. Sometimes, you know what I mean? It takes so much just to get up out the bed. Just to, you know what I mean? To show up. So thank you for showing up today and joining me in this sacred space. I know. So today's topic, we're going to be talking about forgiveness. Why is forgiveness so important? Right? Why, why forgiveness? And um, a lot of people think that forgiveness is for the other person, right? And some people, they like to kind of use that against the other person who, who did them wrong or, or like, you know, they feel wronged by somebody or a circumstance or situation. Um, and then you know they'll they'll be like, oh, I'll never forgive you. You know what I mean? You, the person will be like, do you forgive me? And they'll be like, no, never. Really, the only person that's really gonna be hurting is you, because you're holding holding on to and harboring all of those heavy and dense emotions. You know what I mean? So forgiveness is more so for us. If we want to live a life that is peaceful. A life that we feel content, you know what I mean? We can experience peace in our life. Then we will consider forgiveness. And we will look at it in the perspective of, okay, I see that this happens, right? It's unfortunate. But I'm not going to hold on to this energy and keep these keep these heavy emotions and the pain living inside of me by holding on to the memories and um, the bitterness, you know what I mean, of what you felt from certain circumstances, you know what I mean, or um, dealing with certain people that they could have wronged you or... You know, it could be very valid. They did something that, that was really unforgivable, deemed as unforgivable. But really, when you look at it, you release them out of your energy field by truly surrendering that energy away and understanding that through that situation, you became wiser. You have more information now. Now, you will no longer go along and move in the same way that you once did before that put you in that circumstance. You will no longer just be freely trusting in the people that show you multiple times that they are untrustworthy. You know what I mean? That they are not worthy of your trust. So, for a spiritually fit person, we know that forgiveness is truly important. It allows us to be compassionate, remain compassionate beings, remain and sustain peace inside of us. So whenever you have a situation and you feel like you just can't, you can't ever trust that person, you have to think about it from a different perspective and understand what you have gained from it. Look at it from what it is that you did gain instead of what it is that you lost from it. You know what I mean? Because when you forgive, you release yourself from, from, that circumstance and that person, you know what I mean, that situation, it no longer has a stronghold over your psyche, over your
your inner world's well-being and peace. You know what I mean? The quality of, of atmosphere that you that you will be experiencing internally. It depends on your ability and capability of being able to see the bigger perspective, see the greater perspective, and forgive that situation, forgive that person. You know what I mean? They're sick, they know not what they do. That has nothing to do with me. You know what I mean? You wash your hands away from that energy and that karma or that energy that, that you know what I mean, that 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 they wield, you know what I mean, that belongs to them. It doesn't no longer belong to you. You 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 extract yourself from the equation by removing all of these um, heavy emotions that can make you bitter. If you hear somebody you say like, oh yeah, I would never forgive that person. You know what I mean? I could never forgive you. That person is still hurting, you know what I mean? Which, it, it could be a really valid reason why, but it's not serving that person's future. It's not serving the quality experience that the person can be experiencing, you know what I mean? That person would not be able to have a high vibrational experience because they have so much dense emotions that's dragging them down, weighing them down. And so when we are to forgive someone, forgive our past, forgive our parents, you know what I mean, for not giving us the quality experience that we feel that we deserve, you know what I mean, because they did the best that they can do with what, what was given to them. We forgive our parents, we forgive our, our exes, we forgive, you know what I mean, they cheated on us or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, all of these things, it's up to us for us to free ourselves from the shackles and burdens of a mentality of bitterness, you know what I mean? Of, of, of trying to, pretty much kind of trying to, like, make them pay. Like, oh, you did this to me, so I want you to feel this way. That's not up to you. That's up to the divine, that's up to life, that's up to karma to do. You will continue to be incorporated in that karma and feeling those painful emotions. When you grasp on and hold on to those heavy emotions by not forgiving, by not finding forgiveness within yourself, you know what I mean? You're only hurting yourself, you're not hurting the other person. Only God and the divine can teach people. You know what I mean? And the divine will use people to teach people. But when you try to purposely teach somebody a lesson, you're just you're just creating more of a toxic karmic loop for yourself. You know what I mean? Rise above. Let it loose. Let it go. Set it free. Align with your peace. Our peace is our birthright, you know, and the more that we align with our birthright, our peace, we unravel all type of karmic loops and, and ancestral, what is it that they say, ancestral, like, curses, you know what I mean? So, that's something to think about. It's important for us to recognize that forgiveness is, is not just for us, right? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> forgiveness, it, essentially, it's not just for us because those who we cipher with, the people in our life, they're going to feel the burdens of us not forgiving things of our past. You know what I mean? The things that are sent our way to test our faith, you know what I mean, to try to make us fall down and, and lay down and stay down, the people around us, they're going to suffer, you know what I mean, if we don't take accountability of finding forgiveness within ourselves, you know what I mean, so it benefits us and it also benefits the people around you, the quality 
experience that they get to experience with you. You know what I mean? Like the exchanges that they're gonna have with you are gonna be more desirable, more more lighthearted, more free. You know what I mean? More less burdensome and dense because they can feel that you have let go of all of the pain that has been burdening you, you know what I mean, from past traumatic situations and circumstances and engagements with different people. So find forgiveness within yourself for you, you know what I mean? Not not to try to give it to somebody else, you know what I mean, say, oh, well, I forgive you and this and this and that. No, it's something that has to be embodied within yourself. So may this message find and align and resonate with those who may need it, who may need this perspective in this moment or now. So much love and light and integrated darkness. When I say integrated darkness, this means basically that I've integrated my darkness, the things that used to burden me, you know what I mean, the things that used to hold me back. The things that used to make me lash out onto other people, innocent people, you know what I mean? I've integrated the, the perception, the perspective of my darkness, you know what I mean? And turn my darkness into light, right? And, and turn my darkness into wisdom, give birth to wisdom and power through my darkness, you know what I mean? Befriended my darkness instead of trying to run away from it and push it away and put it in a closet and allow it to haunt me. It no longer haunts me because I have alchemized my darkness into light. So I say to y'all, please like and subscribe, you know what I mean, to my channel. And I love y'all, peace.